Bay Area Mindfulness here again. My name is Florence and in today's video, I thought it would be cool to go through my gym bag. Um, so I've been collecting different items to put into my gym bag to enhance my workouts. I started doing this before the shelter in place order um, was enacted and I'm finding that what I put together over the last couple of months has come in super, super handy. So um, I got most of these items on Amazon, but I'll go through um, what I have in here and what the items are for, and I'll do a little demonstration between um, items so you can see what it's used for um, in action. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I have in my gym bag, or one of the things, is this lovely towel. I know this is really basic, but um, you know, I have an apartment gym and they don't provide towels, so it's really important for me to bring one with me. Um, even when I'm doing workouts in my own home, when I do like ab workouts on my yoga mat, my back tends to get sweaty, so I'll put this behind me. So it's really important that I have um, some nice gym towels. I bought like, I would wanna say there's like 12 in a pack from Amazon. These are actually really nice. They're like really fluffy. I actually want my regular bath towels to be this nice, but anyways, I have about 12 of these and um, after I use them, I just toss them in the wash and then I just make sure that my bag always has a gym towel in it. So that's the first item. The second most important item that I have in here that is along the cloth lines, I guess you could say, is my knee brace. I don't know why, but my right knee has always bothered me and um, I think what has helped has definitely been having better form and then also just generally being more in shape. But on those days that I wanna go really hard on leg day, I absolutely need to have a knee brace on. So I also got this from Amazon. Um, and so I'll put all of the um, descriptions of the items and what they're called um, into the, the description box. So if you need um, a knee brace, you can go get one as well. Um, surprisingly, so I'm a pretty slim person and I am actually a large in this knee brace. I thought that was weird. So when you buy a knee brace, just make sure that you actually measure yourself because I would have gotten a small otherwise um, if I had just like eyeballed it and guessed because I'm usually a small. Um, but yeah, measure it because you may be a size that you're not expecting. So knee brace. Well, the next item that I have in my gym bag is actually um, this strap. This is actually um, a strap that you use to um, roll up your yoga mat and you can kind of like, it's a yoga sling. So you could like sling it over your shoulder and go to your yoga class or wherever you're going. Um, I love this strap in particular because it can also serve as an actual yoga stretching strap. I forgot, I don't know what they're called, but when you're in the yoga class, sometimes the yoga instructor will have you do deeper stretches with um, one of these. And usually they have those little like rings on them, but this serves, the point of the rings is to loop it, but this is already looped. So you can do really nice, you know, deeper stretches with this. I in particular love to do leg stretches, so I'll loop my foot on here and then you can like pull on it and get a deeper stretch. I love this thing. So to me, this is um, a really good purchase because first of all, it's pretty cheap. I think it's less than $10 and has two purposes. So yoga strap. So the next item that I have is this lovely jump rope. So uh, you can use this in the gym if there aren't other people in there, I guess. Like I hate when people are using the jump rope and there's like a lot of us in there. Like, can you get your own space? Cause like, I don't know, I just feel like they're gonna whack me. But um, if you have space or if you were doing like an outdoor workout, this is a great, um, you know, workout tool <laughs> to bring with you to get some more cardio in. There's lots of YouTube videos on how to um, do the different jump rope moves if you want to look like a boxer. Um, yeah, jump rope is hard. <laughs> so I'm going to be honest, I don't do this that often, but if I'm like home in San Diego um, and I'm just like doing a, a workout in the backyard, I will pull out my jump rope. I've had these babies. These are ankle straps for a really long time, like years. And these are the best ankle straps that I've ever had. I have another pair at home in San Diego um, that are kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but I guess the major difference is that these have separations here, right? And so the good thing about that is it's more, it conforms better to your ankle. So 
and you can also put these on your wrist like if you want to do like arm circles um but yeah the other ones that they're coming out with now they're almost like it's like a singular there's no separation right so it doesn't bend as easily and it doesn't conform as well to my ankle so i much much prefer these i don't know if you can find these on um on amazon uh these ones are by women's health um if, i'm sure they still make ones like this so but that's my recommendation if you're going to get ankle straps get the kind that are separated so i love these for um two types of workouts so when i do core exercises like if i'm going to do like leg lifts you know when you like lower your leg and lift them this added added <laughs> ah, this adds <laughs> a little extra weight and resistance to it so um it just you know makes it a little bit harder which will help you get results faster um you can put them on your ankles when you're doing like donkey kicks when you're doing those like glute workouts um another great way to use it like i mentioned you could put it around your wrist and do arm circles um, what you don't want to do is wear these and just like walk around some people do that and i believe that's not so great for you um like you don't want to like run in these because it actually puts too much stress um on your joints and you don't want to do that so if you're going to use ankle straps just make sure you're doing a very controlled workout and you're not just like adding you know resistance to like your normal day-to-day -day activities i don't think that's a good idea <laughs> this is a pilates ball so i love okay let me let me not exaggerate i don't love pilates and the reason why i don't love it is because it's really hard um and sometimes i don't feel like so great after just because it's, it's just hard to get through and it's hard to do everything really well um but um i like it enough that i got a pilates ball and so i use there's a lot of different ways that you can use this you can put this um under the small of your back and then do like i call them toe tap marches it's a really great lower ab workout um there's another exercise where you actually you do a glute bridge but you put your feet on this so you have to stabilize and so you turn that glute bridge workout into a hamstring workout um it's really hard but super effective so i use it for that um, oh, you can also, when you're doing a glute bridge, you can put this ball between your thighs and as you're coming up, you're squeezing the ball with your inner thighs. So you're getting an inner thigh workout. There's so many ways to use this and it's so cheap. This is just a really good workout tool that I definitely recommend for you to have. And yes, it does fit into my gym bag. So the next awesome find that I have are these sliding discs. These are cheap too. So I actually got these at Target in the dollar section. They weren't a dollar though. I think for the two of them together, a pair was $3, which is still a really good um, deal. And basically you can do so many things with this. You can do like isolated, like quad movements. I love to use this for mountain climbers. Um, there's something about just traditional mountain climbers that hurts my joints. I have really weak joints. I don't know why I take collagen powder and all of that to, to help it. Um, but these um, sliding discs make mountain climbers, uh, for me, a much smoother movement. And so I can still get that great ab workout um, without putting you know too much pressure on my joints. So I'll show you how I use these too. Super cool, I love them. I can't believe they're only $3. I'm sure you can find these on Am uh, Amazon as well. All right, so the next thing that I have in here, are and these might be one of my favorites i actually i like all of my workout gear that i've collected they're so effective um so i have these shawing shawing i don't know let's see shawing um oh here we go uh what are these called i'm oh resistance bands these are no slip resistance bands so i originally bought let me see these kinds of resistance bands right they're really cheap on Amazon and these are effective too. I still have them, of course. Um, and it depends on the exercise that I use them for. But um, what I find is when I do uh, movement, when I do workouts that have a little more movement in it, these tend to like, and then also depending on what I'm wearing, these like slip down and I hate that. Ah, it's so annoying. So I was like, okay, I gotta solve this issue. So I didn't even know these existed, but they have no slip resistance bands. They're wider. Um, it's a really thick, uh 
material. And then on the inside, they have this rubber here. So no matter what you're wearing, it grips to you. So it doesn't slip and you can, you know, do your workout without having to stop and like readjust. So I love that. Um, usually when you buy resistance bands, they come in so many sizes, um, like in a pack. And I just don't, I don't need all of that at least for now, the fitness level that I'm at. So I got one that um, has two in it. So I have one for that's a little bit bigger. And then I have one that is smaller, which obviously causes more resistance. Um, depends on the exercise that I'm doing um, that will determine which one I use. So I love these. Yay. Okay, so the, this is one of my favorite um, additions to my gym bag. These are I'm gonna call them ankle straps by Fit Girl, Fit Girl Athletica. Um, and you put these around your ankle. I think it goes like something like this. I don't know, something like that. So you put this on your ankle and then you can attach this to a cable machine. And I, I can't really demonstrate this one because I'm in my house. <laughs> but basically you attach this to the cable machine and you could do all types of workouts for your legs um that's what i know i'm sure there's like other things you can use this for but yeah you could do like leg lifts or you could do the kind of like where you go to the back and get like a good glute workout so i love this some gyms have these but isn't it nice to have your own um i have this which is what is this in here i think i got this for like i put this in here if i'm going to work and I want to put like my gym shoes in here and I don't want to like dirty everything up. So I'll like throw my shoes in here. Um, oh, I know. And then the front part has, you know, if I go to a class or something, I have like little toiletries in here. I have a mini loofah. And then I have this of body spray. It's my favorite body spray. I still like this. Yeah. Body fantasy signature Japanese cherry blossom. It smells so good. Um, and then I have a little deep cleanser by Tatcha. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> um and then let's see what else is in here i have um some face uh what is this moisturizer a face moisturizer by murad and i have an extra hair tie and yeah so if i need to like take a shower and sometimes you know the gyms out here these classes cost so much you know an arm and a leg like 30 dollars they usually have um you know like shower gel and stuff in there but in the rare case that they don't or maybe i don't like the brand that they have it's good to have your own Ooh. oh yes this is important okay so i have these weightlifting gloves i'm not over here lifting really heavy weights i personally don't think that you have to lift very heavy weights especially you know I don't want to make this gendered, but like for the physique that I'm going for, which is, you know, natural, but healthy and toned, like nothing crazy. I'm not trying to be like a bodybuilder. Um, I don't need to lift heavy weights to achieve that look and that level of health. Um, however, why did I get this? Oh, I remember. Okay. <laughs> so I wanted to start doing pull-ups and I, I noticed that like that was putting a lot of pressure on my hands and I couldn't hold the thing for too long. So that's why I bought these. But then also if you do lift heavier weights, if you're gonna be using um, a lot of dumbbells or whatever, you know, those um, weights that have like the little uh, textured grip, you can use this to make sure that your hands stay soft. Cause I don't want calluses, okay? Okay, so I also have these. I don't know what these are called, but these are for barbells. Actually, I have, here it is. Yeah, I have this little like barbell here. And so for, um, putting the plates on and off of the sides of the barbell. Uh, there are these clippy thingies. <laughs> I do not know how to talk about this, but you know what I'm saying. I'm new to like lifting like a barbell like this. So, but I have this for that. Uh, so I put that in here. So I can use it in the gym. And the final thing I have is this Matte Restore by Manduka, which is the brand of my yoga mat. And it is Matte Restore for natural rubber yoga mat. Naturally cleans and disinfects made with essential oils for daily use and invigorating lemongrass and sage. So this is what, I just spritz my yoga mat with this and then I wipe it off. Um, any like sweat that ended up on there, or just like, you know, dust and stuff that gets onto the mat and then it's good as new. I have two of these um, and they smell quite nice. I think I got this at a 
a yoga store. One of the yoga classes that I went to had a little like store in it and I bought these there. And I'm sure you can get this on Amazon as well. But you should be, um, you know, cleansing your yoga mat every so often. So that's it. We've gone through my entire little gym bag here. I like to keep it simple with the Nike, the black. I don't like gym bags that are like too, too much going on because I want it to match my, my outfit. So anyways, um, I hope that this was useful to you. I love all of these workout tools that I have. My workouts have been elevated, you know, tenfold. And I actually enjoy working out. When you have the right tools to work out and you find the right workouts for you, working out can actually be quite enjoyable. And of course, the results make you feel really wonderful about yourself too. So happy working out and yeah. Uh, have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you like my content. Hit the bell for notifications. And if you don't mind, if you like this video, go ahead and like it. Um, that does help me out um, in the whole YouTube algorithm situation. And what else? What else can I? Oh, and comment um, if you have any questions or if you just you know, have something nice to say. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.